And a good evening. I'm Zach Irwin on sports. The Atlanta Hawks look to bounce back from a three-game losing streak all at home as the Brooklyn Nets come to town. Hawks are currently 1-3 and three on the six-game homestand. Game time is set for 7.30. Dirk Nowitzki reaches the 30,000-point club as the Dallas Mavericks beat the L.A. Lakers 122-111. Nowitzki is the sixth player in NBA history to reach that milestone. And another 1,400 points or so will put him ahead of Wilt Chamberlain for fifth all-time. Russell Westbrook's career-high 58 points, not enough to overcome the Portland Trailblazers, 126-121. The Washington Wizards sweep the season series from the Phoenix Suns, 131-127. Suns' three-game winning streak history. LSU is set to fire basketball coach Johnny Jones after five seasons on the job. That includes an NCAA tournament appearance and an NIT berth. His 13th-seeded Tigers battle 12-seed Mississippi State in the first day of the SEC tournament in Nashville. Also on his way out, Missouri's Kim Anderson, his 14th-seeded Tigers, take on the 11th-seed Tigers of Auburn. Tigers will win tonight. Book it. And it appears that Georgia basketball coach Mark Fox will be back on the bench for a ninth season in Athens. His eight-seeded Bulldogs take on nine-seed Tennessee in the second day of the SEC tournament on Thursday. And Georgia Tech's NCAA tournament bubble may have burst with a 61-59 loss to Pitt in the first day of the ACC tournament in Brooklyn. The Yellow Jackets could be NIT-bound for the second year in a row. The Blue Jackets blanked the Devils 2-0. Philadelphia over Buffalo 6-3. It was the Maple Leafs nipping the Red Wings 3-2. The Rangers over the Panthers 5-2. Blues barely double up the Wild 2-1. The Avalanche buried the Hurricanes 3-1. The New York Islanders toppled the Edmonton Oilers 4-1. The Montreal Canadiens nipped the Vancouver Canucks in overtime 2-1. And in a shootout, the Ducks beat the Predators 4-3. And it's build it or else, according to some published reports, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman wrote a letter to the Arizona State Legislature telling him to build a new arena for the Arizona Coyotes away from Glendale or else the Coyotes will be leaving. That's it. That's what's going on in the world of sports news this late Tuesday or early Wednesday, wherever you may be. I'm Zach Irwin.